Shots could be heard in Myanmar near the Thai border Monday. Anti-government rebels and government troops were continuing to clash the day after elections in the nation ruled in a tight grip by secretive military leaders. Groups from Myanmar's ethnic minorities have been warning civil war could break out as the military tries to impose its highly centralized constitution and deprive them of rights. One Myanmar activist said a faction of the democratic Kuren Buddhist army had taken the police station and a post office in the border town of Miawadi Sunday. Some bullets did land on the Thai side of the border. Several Burmese and Thais were hurt, and several thousand people fled to Thailand, where a local governor said they were being kept in temporary areas protected by soldiers and border police. Academic Meng Zami said the fighting has significance. It's basically a challenging um, in a direct military way <clears throat> against the, um, you know, um, um, the, the bigger army, uh, the, the regime's army. And so I think uh, this can like, uh, have a um, serious um, implication uh, for the events that there are to unfold um, you know, down the road. In Myanmar's capital, early election returns were trickling in. They were reinforcing the expectation that junta-backed candidates would grab an enormous share of the 1,159 parliamentary seats up for grabs. The largest anti-government party, the National Democratic Force, was contesting just 164 spots. Nobel laureate Aung San Suu Kyi's National League for Democracy, which had won elections 20 years ago in a landslide, had been dissolved ahead of the elections. She herself was continuing to be held under house arrest and had urged a boycott of the vote. But her detention period was due to end Saturday, and her lawyer said he was certain she'd be released then. In Bangkok, her youngest son applied for a visa to enter Myanmar in hopes of getting a chance to see his mother for the first time in 10 years. Kim Aris, who lives in Britain, has seen previous applications denied. He's not sure if this one will be different. Not too much hope, but there's always a little bit of hope. No, we'll see. Su Chi's son called Myanmar's latest election a load of rubbish. He's not the only observer to condemn the balloting as a sham. U.S. President Barack Obama has called the vote neither free nor fair. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.